Planning Planetarium has been on campus for years. For 20 years now. When I first came to uh, Fresno State back in 1994, I had a few teachers call me on the phone and say, can you come to our school and maybe bring a telescope and talk to the kids about astronomy? Dr. White has been running the planetarium since it first opened. It started off as a simple idea and turned into something bigger. So we were going to have a little planetarium that was supposed to be over by McLean Hall. In fact, it would have been where the Honors College is now. That was going to be our planetarium, but it turned out to be much bigger and better. Little by little. You know, uh, we worked really hard, especially those first few years. From the museum to the famous Little Dipper gift shop. Probably our best customers are the third graders. <laughs> <laughs> they like all of this stuff. Dr. White says his 20 years of running the planetarium have been... Well, it's been marvelous because uh, every day I get to inspire kids about astronomy and science and excitement for the future.
Cyrano de Bergerac was the first to imagine using rockets. In 1865, Jules Verne wrote From Earth to the Moon, a fantastical tale using space cannons. Finally, science fiction gave way to science. The first rocket scientists were Russia's Konstantin Sobolovsky and America's Robert Goddard. Their expertise and those of countless others eventually led to 1969, when the dream became reality. Discover what lies beyond.